Hi everyone, welcome back to the USG Knowledge Hub. I'm Carl, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a toolbox talk. Roll of credits. Bam. So, in today's video, a little bit of a treat. Um, to be honest, it's a... Uh, my personal bag, but what I'm going to do today is talk you through some of the tools that I think may come of use and be useful for you guys all out in the trade and what would make a good set of startup tools for any apprentice or anybody just starting out in the trade or anybody experienced and things that you may find of some use to make your job easier on site. So in today's video, unfortunately we're not sponsored, but um, my new bag is a Vito Pro Pack bag, so if Vito want to get in touch, you know, send us some stuff, feel free to. The camera crew are laughing, but secretly they all want this bag. Um, so basically what we're going to do is I'm just going to go through each section of my bag and I'm going to talk you through some of the tools that I use on a daily basis and things that have helped me along the way out in the field when it's coming, doing jobs um, and just making things a bit easier and if anybody knows me they like to know I am organised so um, and I'm sure the rest of you are too so obviously if you're organised you're prepared it makes a job much easier and obviously by having the correct tools it makes for a better job too. Okay, so first of all, this bag, this bag uh, for me, I, I, I bought just because I've seen some reviews on it and it's, it's a good compact bag, it fits most things in and it allows you to put all the tools that you need in the bag, um, but also not to make it too heavy weight, it's, it's, it's too heavy and bulky to be carrying around on site, okay, so it's just the right size. So what I'll do is I'll give you a spin round, obviously there's a few different components to it, plenty of zips and pockets on the bag. And this is a uh, Vito Pro Pack uh, Tech MCT. Um, obviously, we'll start on this side to be honest. So obviously you've got the strap, the shoulder strap there, you've got a carry handle as well. So we've got a point here for the tape measure. Okay, so as you can see on there, it's got two pockets there. So tape measure, always handy to have. So this is useful for doing any kind of measurements, obviously, um, especially things from down lights or taking things out. Um, just so you'd have to use on site. So I use this on a daily basis. So tape measure is the first thing you should have in your tool bag. The next thing I have here is, this one's a fluke, um, but to be honest, um, you can get them in different makes and, and models, but basically this is a volt alert fluke, and basically this lights up and shows where they may be voltage on wires, that kind of stuff. So it's good because non-contact, you can just go across something and it will light up and it'll give you an indication that there may be voltage there. So that's another cool thing to have in place. Okay, so I'll leave that one there. So that's a fluke volt alert pen. So that's two parts there. Spin it around. So obviously I've got a couple of pens, just normal pens. I've got this tape holder here, so I've got a selection of different tapes. Obviously when you're working um, with different wires, you're having to tape things up. Obviously CPCs, just some white tape to mark on things, some black and some blue. So just a good selection of tapes really. We also have this, this little thing here. This is called a Marksman. Okay, and basically what this does is when you're drilling or you're trying to work through um, like um, whisker boxes, that kind of stuff, or anything that you need to mark on a wall or wood or anything like that. Basically, you turn this round, you put it in the hole it's needed there on, on the, the box or whatever you're putting on the wall. You push it down, so you push that bit down there and it'll spray a little bit of chalk out and mark the wall. So it's just a really good tool, um, especially if you're in a confined space or anything like that. You can just push that on the hole, it'll leave a chalk mark, pull the piece of uh, box or whatever you're trying to fix to the wall away and you'll have a mark on the wall which you can drill and then it's all lined up perfectly. So I would definitely recommend that. So that's a maximum um, marking tool. Okay, so that's the second thing there. So as we look through here, so anybody starting out in the trade, like I say, the main things there, that is optional. Um, I would highly recommend one of those as a startup and a tape measure, of course, as well. So. In the first patch here, we've got a few different things in here. So, the first thing that any apprentice should have really, and it's, it's good if you're just starting out or if you've, got, you've just got a, an apprenticeship with a company, is to turn up, you know, obviously with punctual, the rest of it, but also be willing to get bits of new equipment, that kind of stuff, and show willing to learn on the job as well. So, to do that, I would highly recommend that you get yourself a good selection of screwdrivers. So in this one here, I've got 
the selection of different ones. I won't get them all out, but you can see there. So these are all VDE screwdrivers. Um, and as you look on these, these are all rated to a thousand volts. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera. These are thousand volt rated screwdrivers. So these are insulated as well. So obviously these protect you uh, whilst doing the job. So electrician screwdrivers, various different sizes. We've got slotted, uh, PZ2, uh, uh, PZ1 and so on. There's a few different ones there. Another good one I would highly recommend is this one here, so this is a CK one, but this is a modular screwdriver, and I don't know how well you can pick it up on the camera, but basically it's slightly different. It's not like a, a posi screwdriver. It's got a slotted area as well, and that is a really good screwdriver for when you're tightening up terminations in consumer units, that kind of stuff. So that's another one I would highly recommend. So, moving on with that, we've also got a 1,000 volt rated so insulated hex key there. That is mainly used for main supply, so when you're working in the cutout, that kind of stuff, and it just allows you to tighten up terminations in there, and any uh, lucid blocks or anything like that, which may require that type of key setting, okay? You can get me in various different sizes, um, but this one here is a three mil, and that one tends to be the most standard one um, within the industry for general basic uh, metering cutouts that kind of stuff and any other any other um, connection boxes that, that require that one okay so that's another good one there so i'd recommend some screwdrivers hex key and obviously the bits that we mentioned before so moving on um can't laugh at that um <laughs> the camera crew, <laughs> the camera crew uh they are laughing actually um the hammer, th this hammer, to be fair, as you can see, the bag's not very tall. So if I was to put that there, if I had a full size hammer, I probably, it might just squeeze in there. Uh, it might just be a bit too tall to fit in there. So I've got a stubby hammer, really good. Um, just nice and compact, just to have in there. All you're gonna be using that for is obviously when you're putting uh, cable clips in, that kind of stuff. So it's just a nice, small, compact hammer just to have in your toolbox, okay? Calm down, camera crew, calm down. So the next bit on there is I have, just. So this is a little screwdriver set here, so very similar to them. Um, optional, you don't need to, but I find this very useful. So this is a, a, a Weeham one, I think it is. Weeham, we I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. Um, but basically, um, this has a selection of different screwdriver bits, okay? So it's nice and compact, and what it does, it gives you the small handle there, so obviously you, you can get in real confined spaces with that. Um, and obviously you've got the individual ones. So there's a variety of different ones, all the same as what I've just mentioned there, including the modular one. What it allows you to do is just pop those in like so, and then you've got a nice stubby little screwdriver there. These are insulated as well, uh, rated to a thousand volts, so perfectly uh, acceptable and um, the right tool for the job in the electrical industry. Okay, so I would highly recommend one of those. I, I use this quite a lot and a, a special like say, if you're in tight covered space, that kind of stuff, and you're working with switch gear, consumer units, or even just putting accessories on that kind of stuff, it's definitely a tool to buy, okay? So you've got a good selection of normal screwdrivers. We've got the stubby set as well. But like I say, um, these are optional ones. Just by getting a normal set of screwdrivers to start you off with is, is perfectly fine, okay? So the next bit we've got here is um, we are again, and this is a torque screwdriver. I won't go into this too much, but basically this torque screwdriver um, I use on, on my job, especially on consumer units, that kind of stuff. So to comply with manufacturing instructions, um, and to uh, limit the risk of you over tightening or under tightening and leaving a loose connection, um, you're going to use a torch screwdriver. And in this case, this wheel one, very much the same as that. You can see a bit of a trend going on here, aren't you? If, if these guys want to uh, sponsor, feel free. Um, but basically, this. this um, Torque screwdriver, you can set to different torque levels, obviously what the manufacturer sets on the consumer unit, that kind of stuff. And then you can tighten your terminations and they will be at the correct torque setting. So I would highly recommend investing in one of these, especially if you're progressing into working with the consumer units and your employer um, is allowing you to do board changes, that kind of stuff. Um, just, just because you're going to comply with everything there and you're going to make sure everything is correctly tightened up. So all that works is, is obviously you take that piece out, you adjust the torque setting with that, 
once you're happy with it, pop that back in. You get your little bit, very similar to the, these ones, pop it in there, lock it off, and then you will tighten it and it would click when it gets to the correct torque setting, basically. So you do all your terminations in there lightly and then you go over your consumer unit with that and that would give you a, a nice um, torque setting on each termination, making sure you're compliant. So bob that one back together. Like I say, um, some of these are optional. These are just things that obviously that I've got along my time, um, but they are all worth getting and it just makes the job a bit easier and yeah, makes it mu mu much better and you, you tend to be a lot more efficient with it as well. Okay, so just moving on, I've got a few other little bits inside. So such as, um, we've got a standard knife here, regular one. Uh, we've got some odds and sod screwdrivers, small uh, poggers, that kind of stuff. Um, lockout kit. We've got shroud. So we've got a few various bits there, um, which we'll go through in other videos. If you tune into his channel, you can see he's talking about the testing and inspection side, uh, inspection and testing side, sorry. Um, you can see how we use a lock off kit and the test required for electrical installations. So as we spin around, obviously I've got um, a few of the different knives and such in the bag. That's mainly for obviously when you're working with armored cable, that kind of stuff. Turn it around. I'll tell you what I have got, which is pretty cool, which I've only just got. Um, got this off um, Amazon, I think it was, um, off the recommendation of one of the artisan electricians. Um, basically, it's a Klein uh, magnetizer and demagnetizing tool. This is really useful, actually, because there's nothing worse than trying to get into a hard reach point. Oh, camera crew has even got some screws here. Look at this. Right, okay. Bring them in. Let's have a look. So, say you've got a screw and you're trying it, you're in a hard... Obviously, I've already done this, but nothing worse than trying to hold that in and it falling off the end when you're in a tight reach space. So, on this tool here, you can literally pop that through, bring it back out and we're winning. We're winning at life, you know what I mean? So, it doesn't get any better than that. I know you're probably thinking I'm sad, but it is a good tool. So, then we come to this section. So, we've got a few bits here. So, we've got a plug-in uh, polarity tester, safety glasses, um, we've got a voltage uh, continuity tester there. Um, use this all the time, um, really good. And obviously, um, just uh, so I can use this with a proving unit and use this for when I'm proving dead. I can use uh, the normal lamps, that kind of stuff, um, but really useful. This is the uh, DeLog DL6790 Combi Volt 2. So the next thing we have is CK automatic wire strippers. These are really good if you're starting out um, and if you've got loads of downlights, that kind of stuff to do. Um, just make stripping twin and earth a lot easier, okay? Automatic, you just set it to, you got a little depth gauge there, you can set that and get the same, same measurement every single time, okay? So it's a really good tool to have. Then we have a couple of sets, a uh, couple of grips there, just normal adjustable ones. Um, the small ones I find are, are useful, they fit in the bag well and obviously don't need anything massive. These are normally used when we're working with like SWA glands, that kind of stuff. Then we have some side cutters, so these are CK. Um, these also have the 1.5 and 2.5 markings on the foot, so obviously you can strip cables that way. And they also have the point in the middle where you can chop the... Um, the screws as well for your accessories such as sockets, uh, face plates, that kind of stuff. Then we have uh, another set of uh, little side cutters. These I've had for some time. Uh, nice and small, compact. So they're really worth investing in. Just get yourself some good, decent side cutters. You don't have to have two pairs like myself. Um, these are just bits I've, I've acquired over time. But what I would say is get a decent set of side cutters. Then we've got some long nose pliers. Some normal pliers, and as you notice, all these tools are VDE tools, okay? So it's just to a thousand volts, or sorry, rate to a thousand volts. Um, so yeah, good bits of kit. And then we have this, obviously I'm a Milwaukee fan. Um, I've got this little M Milwaukee uh, screwdriver bit set there. It's worth, worth having, nice and compact, just fits in the bag nicely. Um, and I can use that with my uh, impact driver, combi drill, that kind of stuff. So it's just, just helpful and useful to have. That's a shockwave impact um, duty set there, okay. 
Then we have a uh, CK armor slice. Very useful, really good to use on armored cable. Good to have handy in the bag. Um, just makes using and terminating cutting armored cable that much easier. Okay, so highly recommend one of those. Then we have some cable croppers, okay? So these are the ones that you can lock off and these are basically used for your mains tails, okay? So when you're working with like 25 mil tails, um, these are really useful, nice and sharp, uh, fit in the hand well and just re really useful and easy to use, just to strip those tails uh, ready to terminate to consume unit switch gear. Okay, so that's good ones to have. Um, German made those, I think it's, uh, Will, I think that is, if you can see what that one is. Um, real good, had them for quite a while now, but they're nice and sharp and they're just easy to use. So here we've got a thousand volt mirror, okay. This is really useful to have, especially working uh, with consumer units, that kind of stuff. So if you're putting buzz bars in, that kind of stuff, or you want to check switch gear or terminations, if you put that in, you can look behind there and you can check everywhere and, and obviously work safe because it is a VDE one as well, thousand volt rated. So worth having, definitely. Then we have just a few, let's see if we can get these out. Okay, so then we have a few, different types of Allen key basically. So these sets that I've got here are Magnuson ones, but these are like the style of security type ones. Um, just really, really compact, nice and easy to use. And I've got a set of the normal ones as well. Um, spare drew, uh, screwdriver, a uh, bit thing there from impact. Then I have a rethreading tool. Okay, so this is really useful for um, the lugs in the back of sockets, that kind of stuff, um, and back boxes. Basically, if that thread's going, you're trying to screw it back, and the thread is 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 buggered. Basically, if you go back through the re-threading tool, that will re-thread that and allow you to put that screw in nice and easy. So, highly recommend. And then, other than that, I think we've just got a few odds and sods. So, we've got some Wagos. Uh, the different types, always handy to have in the bag, especially when you're testing that kind of stuff. And pretty much, looking at things there, that is everything. So, obviously there's quite a lot here, um, but the main bits I would recommend uh, if you're starting out, would like to say, is a good set of screwdrivers, such as those. Get all the screwdrivers. The hex key, would definitely recommend that. Some good side cutters, a plug-in socket test, polarity tester. I would also recommend tape measure, well, uh, the mirror. And if you are working with consumer it's that kind of stuff, torch screwdriver. Um, obviously your safety glasses, they're gonna be needed. And your consumer tester, your voltage indicator there, okay? The rest of the stuff, such as the tail cutters, all that kind of stuff, they're all really useful to have. And obviously as you progress throughout your training, that kind of stuff, um, you'll be able to get a pair of those because they are quite expensive, um, but they just make it a lot easier. Like I say, the rest of the stuff that I've got here are all extra add-ons to build up the consumer, uh, your, your tool bag, sorry. Um, but just the bits there, I would say are worth having. Um, so yeah, like I say, if you've enjoyed this video and you've got a good insight of obviously some of the tools that I use, if you would recommend anything or you think there's something I could use that might be better on the market, please comment below and let me know. Um, and if you've liked this video, please uh, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you've tuned into our USG um, Knowledge Hub playlist, you can see all of the videos that we've put together and hopefully there'll be some help to you. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.